Hello, my name is George Acevedo and I'm one of the pastors here at Grace Church. I want to thank you for being a part of this, the Circle Maker small group at, at Grace Church. And I pray that these days have been life-changing for you as you've been learning to pray bold prayers. Uh, one of my most favorite stories in the Bible, it's found in Mark and in Luke's biography of Jesus, is the story of four friends who come and bring a, a man who was paralyzed on a mat and they bring him to Jesus. Now, we're not given all the details, but I like to use my gift of imagination. And imagine what it must have been like for these four friends who must have genuinely loved their friend to hear that Jesus, the miracle man, was showing up in their town. I wonder who it was that told them that if they would get their friend, their paralyzed friend, to Jesus, that maybe, just maybe, Jesus would heal him. And so, as the story goes, the, the four friends arrive carrying the man on a mat to a home in a place called Capernaum, the city where Jesus spent a lot of his time on the Sea of Galilee. Capernaum was the place where Peter and James and John were from. It was a, a fishing seacoast there near the Sea of Galilee. And so they arrive at this house, and the Bible simply tell us, tells us that the house was so filled with people that you couldn't even squeeze one more person. It was kind of standing room only, Easter Sunday kind of attendance. And so they get to the house. They can't get their friend in to see Jesus. Now, again, this is where my kind of crazy imagination takes over. I can imagine, you know, one of the friends saying, well, I guess we'll just have to go home. But then one of the friends has this bright idea. He says, hey, why don't we climb up on the roof, cut a hole in the roof, and drop our friend down in front of Jesus. You see, uh, they came up to the obstacle and they were persistent. Uh, they weren't willing to go home. They were willing to do whatever it took to get their sick friend in front of Jesus. But they weren't allowing the obstacle of the crowd, the sheer volume of people, to keep their special friend from getting in front of the master in front of the miracle worker, Jesus. And so they climb up on the roof. Now, can you imagine in Jesus' day, uh, the guest of honor would sit at the right hand uh, of, the, of the host. And so can you imagine the host and Jesus sitting at his right hand, feeling a little dirt on their head, and they look up and they see uh, eight hands ripping the roof off of the host's house. Now remember, it's not their house, but they're willing to do whatever it took to get their friend in front of Jesus. And slowly they, they lower him in, on the mat right in front of Jesus. And here's the amazing thing about the story. Because the Bible is crystal clear. It wasn't the faith of the paralyzed man that got him healed. The Bible says that Jesus saw their faith and he healed the man. And they were persistent. They were willing to do whatever it took to get their friend in front of Jesus. And then Jesus, seeing their persistent prayers, their persistent faith, healed the man. I wonder how many times in your life and in my life, we've been praying and we bump up against something, and then we just assume, well, it's time to go home. It's time to quit. There's no reason to pray anymore. And yet, I think what God invites us to in Scripture is to continually to pray. Do you remember when Jesus says, seek and knock, keep knocking at the door, and eventually the owner of the house will come to the door. We're supposed to be persistent in our prayer, not allow obstacles to keep us from continually praying these bold prayers for God to do His miracle in our life. So I want you to be encouraged today. If there's a, an obstacle in your life, if, if things don't appear like God is breaking through, keep praying. Keep praying bold prayers. Keep ripping off the roof of the obstacles in your life and keep lowering those prayer concerns right in front of the miracle worker, in front of Jesus, and wait for Him to see your faith and heal your situation. God wants to do that in your life.